this is Josh from Collection DX here with a review. This time we're looking at the Hasbro combining Power Rangers Megazord. I'm doing this on my phone just to see what 4K looks like. They come in, they're sold separately. There are three packs, each at about $15. So to get the whole Megazord, it's 45 bucks. And uh, Oh, I re was really curious to see what Hasbro's take on these Megazords are going to be, um, considering the last one they did, we just never saw it. I was hoping we'd see some Transformers engineering and quality here, but they're decidedly kid-centric. Well, they're not bad, but, you know, they'll put up with a beating for sure. So, you know, the yellow Zord, the le our legs move, but there's no articulation aside from the one place at the body and you can see inside the limbs are all pretty hollow you know and this, that's kind of a theme that where there's a chance to make it hollow has to make it hollow and the uh, teeth move a little bit you know the head does move the tail does move but that's more for the transformation the uh, triceratops is just um lame <laughs> it's not even any wheels and I hate it when they do this one they mold in treads but obviously we can't get real tank treads so we should mold in a little wheel to go on but then they're just bumps and again if you notice that's hollow uh, and the sharp points are you know obviously a different rubber and even these are the tails are a rubber so the next two pack is the uh Mastodon and the pterodactyl. So Mastodon, he's fine. He's pretty solid, but again, you know, all rubber. Uh, even the pretty much anywhere you see this kind of silver plastic is going to be flexible or breakable. <laughs> That's not broken though. It just uh, pops right back in like so. But, you know, nothing really moves. There's no leg articulation. And there's a pretty good gap between the head and the body. Pterodactyl Zord. Uh, and, you know, the wings move out a little bit. You can put the guns on the bottom for feet. The head moves. But, again, it's pretty cheap. But it's got stickers pre-applied, which is nice. So stickers and paint. I mean, overall, it's a good kid quality. Then there is the Tyrannosaurus. Uh, it's fine. It's got these horrible, ugly little nubs sticking out. The arms move a little bit. The jaw will open a little bit. There's a little hole here that I haven't quite figured out what it goes to. I think it goes to the other kind of like battle tank mode that the whole thing can do. But, you know, it's attractive I guess but you know again everything's kind of hollow everything's kind of bendy but the hard plastic that's hard is nice so let's um let's transform this bad boy you know pretty much the same as everything every other iteration of this character you uh, compress the legs you pop up the head and push these arms up. All right, so that goes like this, and then this assembly comes down. The head doesn't pop up, it pops down, my bad. And then these come out to the side, and these are, uh, these tips are softer rubber too, okay? And then we get that up like so, move the legs down. We get our saber tooth tiger. The legs go. Um, oh, actually, the legs come this way. That's that's me, my bird. So leg. Leg. And then they just plug in. All right, so that part's done. Then mastodon. So that comes off. These basically, you gotta kind of flip the, this up, bring these out, and then unsnap the whole thing. This this snap is difficult. It's tight. 
and then you take the leg and you, you gotta bring it around like that. I mean, and these joints are nice and tight. They're very sturdy in that regard. So you have this section. It comes around and there are snaps in the body and then the snaps in the arms. It's pretty cool. Take out the little gun oh, there, took the guns off. Uh, head, wings, and there are two little connection points on either side where the Megazord connects. There you go. So here is the basic Megazord. I mean, it looks pretty good. can if you want to, to put the little guns on the back there and then of course we have the uh, shield which is a flip out handle right in the middle goes in like so and then it oh, of course comes with the sword is the sword. I mean, you probably could get that handle back a little more, but it's kind of tight. All right, so there are good, there's good and bad to this thing about articulation. So first of all, it's not very big. Uh, give you an example. Here is a Black Series action figure next to the Megazord. Again, not super tall. So there is some good articulation, but there's also some tragic omissions. So the arms come out clicky, the elbows bend, the biceps rotate, which is good. The hands don't do anything else, but I mean, that's really good articulation, I think. Same on this side, you can kind of come out with the shoulders. The head does not turn, okay? The waist doesn't turn, but you also get some nice, uh, a, you can make the legs splay out and there's a little hinge joint up here. So that looks good, but here's a huge problem. There are no knee joints at all. So the knees just, they can go that way, which is stupid, but they don't go the other way, which is kind of lame. Again, total for this is like 45 bucks. Would have been cool. This feels more like an Imagine X toy than it does a Transformer. And what they really should have done is, you know, put the Transformer team on it. Um, made it like a fifty dollar. I mean, forty nine ninety nine. The big box Transformers from Siege have so many accessories and so much articulation and so much detail. The three of these together is forty five bucks. Just have them do it. <laughs> Make a big dude. And, uh, and put the right engineering and put five millimeter ports all over it so we can attach all the transformer crap to, to this. I mean, you might, you might be able to do a little bit of that, like, you know, back here, but, you know, and hold a weapon, but that's, that's probably the most kind of interconnectivity that you're gonna get. So as an example, here's like a Siege Jetfire's double gun, right? So it does fit right in there. And I bet you that it fits in the back here too. So I guess there's some, eh, it's a little loose, it's not exact. So it's good in the fist, but we'll go in there. I mean, I guess it could, <laughs> that's kind of stupid. So yeah, uh, it could have been more. I mean, especially for what I'm paying for this thing. So first I gotta track down the three sets and pay, you know, almost 50 bucks if you say I have sales tax where you're at. And then this is kind of underwhelming, but your mileage may vary. There's one more mode. There's also this mode, um, which answers the question of why there's a hole there. Eh, I mean, the pterodactyl's just kind of hanging off the back. Uh, so that's not great and it doesn't roll, but I mean, I guess it's nice that they put a little more play value into it than I initially had thought, but still. Um, could have been better for almost 50 bucks, I guess. So, here we go. That is the, um, 
Hasbro Megazord. The three pack of stuff, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. I guess, you know, I'm, I'm glad that we're still getting Power Rangers stuff. I just wish that, uh, you know, Hasbro put like their, their A game on this, you know, as opposed to their kitty team. That's all. It's Josh from Collection DX. See you next time. Hey, tell me what you think of this video quality. Uh, I'm just going to tweak it maybe a little more. I didn't use my proper lighting or anything, so it's just kind of an experiment.